Time now for the executive edge. Uh, St. Louis Fed President James Bullard speaking to CNBC Europe about President Trump's trade policy and pointing out hypocrisy among America's trading partners. He said countries that protest America's non-free trade policy should just drop all their tariffs and their non-tariff barriers to zero. But they won't because they're protectionist. It's controversial, that's for sure. But, uh, but I think the, the discussion that, um, you know, should be focused on what's the end state here. The end state should be to reignite a global debate on trade. I think that has happened. And to think about where we want to get to. And what we, what we want to get to is very few or none in terms of tariff barriers or non-tariff barriers to trade. And Bullard said that lower trade barriers would be a better outcome for the whole world. You know what you got there? What do you got there? Midwest common sense. Midwest, where you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get out of. I'm telling you, you That's gotta leave city. here. You gotta get out of. Gotta leave here occasionally. Go to the fly, what you would call the flyover I, I states. I call them the go flyover and, states. And go and listen call them to some, some of the mid best parts of America. Yeah, uh, since when? Where nobody lives. The show me state in in Missouri. He, yes. What he's talking about is actually exactly what the CEO of Harley Davidson, Matt Levitich, said to me last week as well. The fact that you have this tariff landscape throughout the world that has been unfair. I mean, places like India were 100 percent tariffs on imported motorcycles, that the tariffs are durable and that it has yeah. not been a free trade environment. It's just the, you know, the And Euro, of course, they would like to see it get the to The Euros that. where they go, oh, sacre bleu, oh, what is, you know, and it's like, you, you, you don't act innocent here, please. You know, take down your, your trade barriers and, we, and let's all go to zero, Andrew. Let's all go to zero. Can't we do that? If you think that that's possible. Did you see, did you see this movie yet? I have not, but it's on my list. I so saw it on, on saw vacation. It. We went. You saw yeah. it. Okay, so how hold was on. it? Unbelievable. Uh, let me just hold the preview really? of the situation. He's Mission the, Impossible uh, had a big weekend at the box nuts. office. It's called Mission Impossible Fallout. Took home the top spot. Second week in a row, we should mention. That's all according to Comscore. Paramount's latest action film. Here's the number. Took in 35 million in the second weekend. Uh, just to give you a little bit of the quick ranking, Disney's Christopher Robin debuted in second place. Something my kids want to see, by the way, bringing in $25 million in North America. It stars Ewan McGregor as the grown-up Christopher Robin, who is reunited with Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and the rest of his childhood friends, but back to the Joe Kernan review of Mission This Impossible. is all I'm going to say. Have you, when you watch action movies, yes. you know, a lot of times, if you focus in on the stars during the stunts, yes, if they you focus cut away in, because you can tell they're not. Yeah. And, and like, I, even on Die Hard, I watch Die Hard. You can, it's not Bruce Willis and a lot of the, okay. In this, going through the streets of Paris, going 100 miles an hour on a motorcycle, it, it is Tom Cruise. It, it is Tom Cruise jumping at 25,000 feet uh, out of an airplane. And I have, like, now I've got, like, except for the Scientology thing, I got a major man crush on, on Tom. Major, major, major. Because he, uh, he does all these. You know, there's one scene where we know that I think he broke his ankle or he something. Broke, he hurt himself. Yeah, and they yep. show that. And then he, you can see him. He gets up and starts. He's like limping a little. As, as, as he finishes the scene, I think, and maybe with. Oh, you think it's actually he keeps going. It, it, it almost looks like it, but it's awesome. It's, I mean, it's, you know, the plot is, you know, once again, there's three nuclear bombs or something. And we're all going to, there's going to be a nuclear oblivion except for the MI guys. And they got like one second before but they But there's save less them. MI guys this time, right? Yeah, but the MI guys are good, too. Bing Rains, he's right. great, and uh, the other guy, the little funny English guy, Simon Pegg, whatever. Yeah, it's good. You like? You gotta see it. Though. Oh, it's on my list. The kids will. Oh yeah, no. Some <laughs> violence. Some you, violence. Though. Is there? Is it, what kind of uh, curse words? There's guns and stuff too. What about the words? Not a lot of that. Is it PG or PG-13? I don't R. know that. I know it's not R. But a lot of a lot of violence. So a lot of People violence. Getting shot and stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're trying to avoid that. I'm sure. In this sort I'm of sure.